afternoon everyone and welcome to DIY crafts. So today we are going to be learning how to make a specific knot and for this we want to do um it's a Celtic knot in tradition of St. Patrick's Day coming up Irish month craft is what I'm going for here. Um so this week I'm going to show you guys how to make this really cool knot. It looks a lot like a pretzel. So if you hold it this way, um, you can see the pretzel look to it. It's kind of in and out and weaving under and over. And then if you combine those and make a bunch of them, it makes a really cool design. And for this design, I have decided to make the same knot over and over and over again to create a pretty cool belt with some um, string at the end here to tie it all together. Um, Alternatively, if you are not a belt wearing person, you could make a really cool bracelet. Um, you don't need to make a bracelet this big. You can certainly make this knot using embroidery thread um, or smaller version of twine or jute rope or anything to that degree. And this knot over and over again makes it really cool looking. Um, if you want to get really fancy, you can also add a bead in right here in between the two knots to add a little decoration. So let's begin. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this pretty cool um, knot. So first things first, you're going to want to get yourself some string of your choice. Um, if you are making a belt, uh, I think I'm about a size eight waist, maybe 10, maybe 12, I have no idea. <laughs> To be quite honest, it's been a really long time since I've measured myself. But um, in order to make the belts, you're going to want at least four yards of this. And you're going to need four strands to work with here. Um, so what I did is I did... Um, Agamani! I did um, four yards each with four, first four strings. If for some reason you need more or less string, um, you can always cut off the ends and save it for another time. All right, so I'm gonna tilt you guys down. Ignore the dog, I'm sorry. I'm gonna tilt you guys down so I can show you guys how to get started here. So let's tilt you guys down so you can see this. All right, so in order to do the knots, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna start off by tying a um, knot right here and that's going to be your center spot. Um, so what I usually do is I clip this um, somewhere and then I start working from here. This tends to be super helpful um, when you're trying to get this done. So if you um, are like me and you already have this started, you don't really need the clip, but the clip is good to get you started because it keeps the string together. Um, so first things first, in theory, you're gonna have two strands like this. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a knot right here to get yourself a loop. So go ahead and start your off. And I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like. Um, basically, this would be your starter. You'd have a loop right here. And then you'd have your four strings. Um, all right. So I already have mine started so you guys could see what the knot looks like. So I'm just going to continue off where I left off and show you guys how to do the knot um, per se. Because that's really what this class is about. All right. So first things first, you're always going to start with the underneath thread. So you'll see that this thread goes over and this one goes under. I don't know if you guys can see that really, really well. Let's switch you guys up a little bit more here. All right, so I'm gonna start with this under thread right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a loop like this. So I have my loop here and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that everything's straight. So you don't want anything twisted. You don't want anything crisscrossed. And I'm gonna make this loop fairly big. This is gonna be my working loop. 
And so I've gone here, I've done a loop like this, making sure that the top piece goes over and the bottom piece goes under. And then I'm gonna take my second string, the string that kind of goes over here, I'm gonna put it right in the center of this loop. So I have a hole here and a hole here. I'll leave this string off to the side. You're not gonna use this for a little bit. You're gonna work with this right here. So I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna put the string under the string. So notice that it's not attached to anything. So I'm just trying to keep it so it's just under and over. And basically the pretzel knot is just working about going under, over, under, over. So I've gone ahead and gone with my working string under this. I'm gonna come up to the top and go over the string through this hole. So I'm gonna take this. We're gonna go over this and then we're gonna go under this and then over and then under. So we're gonna go over and then under and then over and then under. And then I'll show you guys kind of how this looks before I move forward any further. So what I have here is a very loose version of the Josephine knot. You can see my original loop here. And then there's another loop here. So you always want to go over under your original loop. So I went under this one right here, over the string, under, over, under. And now that everything's straight, you don't want anything crooked like this or like this. You want to make sure everything's kind of straight and everything looks really nice. And then you're just going to start tightening it. And I do this very slowly. And I do it kind of one side at a time. And if you lay your hand on it flat, you can kind of pull the strings and pull the strings and it starts to tighten up your knot and make it look pretty cool. And then you can just bring this up here. Same thing, bring this side up here. And then I just lay my hand flat on it to keep everything from not getting twisted. And you're just gonna keep flattening it and pulling it tight and flattening it and pulling it tight until it's all the way up to the top. So move this forward. And I'll do this a couple of times so you guys can kind of get the hang of how this knot works. Because I can totally verify it is quite complicated. All right, so this is getting twisted. So I just untwisted it, pull it tight and pull it tight. And again, you're just gonna keep doing that until this is all very tight. And then pull and pull. And then there we go. I have my first knot here. So there it is. So once again, I'm just gonna make sure this is nice and tight everywhere. Pull this side up and through. And same thing, pull this side. And if it starts to get twisted, just loosen it up. Pull your strings tight. And that's it. So once again, every time you create this knot, if you're going in a succession, you always wanna work with your knot on the bottom side. So if I flip this over, it's still gonna be on the bottom. I still have to work with that bottom one. So I'm gonna make my same knot again, just make a loop, goes up and then back um, down and then back up. And then I just make sure my string is nice and even like so. I'm gonna take my second string, put it right over like this so that I have these individual holes here. And then I'm gonna take my working string, which is the one that's going through this center loop here I'm gonna go ahead and go under. That's my first under. I'm gonna go over this, under, over, under. So we're gonna go ahead and go over, and then under, and then over, and then under. And then I usually like to put my hand over it so nothing gets messed up and pull it through. And then you just gotta make sure every string is nice and straight. So you can see it's kind of messed up. So we're gonna make sure that the string is all straight here and it's all even. And then there's my Josephine knot. 
or in my Celtic knot, it's really large. And we're just going to go through and tighten it here. All right, so I'm going to pull this up, pull this up. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and tight and even. So we make sure this is tight. So this is tight. And just pull it back up again. Pull it tight. Pull it tight. And there we go. I have this one as well. I'm just going to go through once again and tighten everything up a little. And you just want to make sure that you're keeping everything nice and flat. So see how there's still a little gap there? Let me go ahead and pull that up and then pull it through again. Pull it up and through. And that is another one. And we'll do a couple more. So once again, you're always working with the under knot. This one is going up and over on the top. We want to work with the one underneath. So we're going to make our loop like this. And then all we're going to do is make sure that this loop is nice and flat and even so that the strings aren't all twisted and um, not the same. So that's that. We're going to lay this one over the center here of this loop. And then this is our working yarn. We're going to leave this one alone for now. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to go under. And I'm going to come up to the top here. I'm going to go over, under, over, under. So over, under, and then over, and then under. And then I'm going to make sure everything is nice and flat once again and straight. And I'm going to start tightening it up here. If you just keep this nice and flat, it makes it a lot easier and it makes it look a lot prettier too. So. You lay your hand on it and just kind of pull each end it makes it nice and even as well so but you might need to pull pieces up and then pull your working ends pull pieces up to make working ends so i am counting here because i ended up putting two pieces together because i didn't make mine originally long enough so i want 13 so i have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I'm going to do one more. So once again, you always want to work with your string that's underneath, not the one that's over. So we're going to work with the one underneath here. We're going to make a loop. And my loop goes down and back up. And we can kind of put this off to the side because we won't use this for a bit. I'm going to put this over my working yarn or my working strand and then I'm going to go under here I'm going to go over under over under just like I'm weaving so over under and then over under and that creates my pretzel knot and then all I'm going to do is come in here and tighten everything and make sure it's all nice and straight. So I'll pull this up and I'll start tightening here. Make sure you're keeping everything nice and straight. If it gets twisted, just untwist it. And then see how there's a big step here. I'm just going to tighten that up. 
get rid of that gap, pull my working part, and same thing. I'm just going to tighten this up just a little bit more. and straighten it out and that's pretty much it you're going to do that knot over and over and over and over and over again and if anything gets out of whack you can just come in and tighten it up let's flip you guys back up so when it is all said and done you have this pretty cool pretzel knot that goes on and on and on and so i did two two versions. I've joined them in the center here. So I would have a perfect center knot, but you don't have to do that. I just did that because I ran out and I didn't make my initial, um, my initial strings long enough. So if that happens, you can just join them together here. But then I just did the same knot over and over and over and over again. And this is going to be on my belt. So let's show you. So I have this really cute dress on, but it needs a little bit of feng shui. So what I'm gonna do is I've created a fashion piece. I'm gonna put my center knot in the back, in the center, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it. And in theory, this is gonna look really cool. So I decided to do a belt here, but you can obviously do a waist belt as well. So you can see that my belt meets perfectly in the center and it's not too tight. It's actually perfect. If it's um, too tight or too loose, you can always add a knot or get rid of a knot. And then I'm just going to let the string kind of hang. So I have this hanging string and there is my belt. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And that's it. So if you are not interested in making a belt, obviously you don't have to make a belt, but you can use this knot to make a really cool bracelet, like I said. It looks really awesome as just a bracelet, especially a summer bracelet for like the beach, or um, I'm not really sure <laughs> what kind of decoration you want it for. Um, if you use smaller thread, such as embroidery thread, you could make a necklace. Um, you could do an anklet. This would look really cool. So this knot is really versatile. Um, you can even leave more space between each knot. So this is one knot. This is another knot. The more space you leave, the different style you have. I wanted mine fairly close together, but you can always put yours further apart. Alrighty. So join us next week. We will be doing more awesome Irish, Celtic, um, St. Patrick's Day crafts. And next week, we are going to be doing a shamrock craft for some decoration around the house. So break out your green paint and your green construction paper, and we will get our shamrock on. Until next week, I'll see you guys all then. I hope you enjoyed today's craft. Again, as always, if you do this at home, show us how it came out. And if not, I'll see you guys all next week. Enjoy the beautiful weather outside. Bye, guys.